Hey guys! So, at this point, you guys should have finished the novel. Woo! <laughs> Good job. So, I want to talk about um, some of the things throughout the novel in this video and kind of the ending and how Brian gets saved and everything in between. Um, so really, at the beginning of this whole journey, we started talking about shelters, right? And we talked about, you know, what you would use to survive something, right? And so then, as you kept reading, you realized that Ryan really had to work hard to survive, right? Like, he, did, he couldn't just, you know, willy-nilly, you know, run over and just sleep on the grass somewhere. Like, he had to really fight hard to survive, right? And you realize at the beginning that he's really vulnerable when he is... Um, when he has crash landed and he's in the wild by himself, right? He's young, right? He's just a little 13 year old, right? And he's in the wild and he's vulnerable. And um, I want you to think about how he changes. So at the very beginning, he's very vulnerable. You know, the only thing he really understands or knows is about survival is from pop culture and TV, right? So he knows some things, but it's not really concrete information, right? Um, and then as he goes on, he begins to have these realizations or he, he kind of begins to grow and he matures in his understanding of survival techniques, right? So he realizes at some points in the novel that he's slowed by his injuries, right? Um, if he gets hurt, he can't survive, right? Because he can't find food. He can't um, keep his shelter working or together. He can't get wood for a fire, right? So he begins to understand that he has to start preparing for if he gets hurt for the long term, right? Because when you first start down there and he's trying to survive, he, he's thinking, oh, somebody's going to get me, right? He's not thinking about having to stay and survive in this, you know, lake forest region forever. But as soon as he starts to realize that, oh, maybe that's going to have to happen, he begins to realize that he needs to prepare for the worst, right? And I think sometimes that that realization has to happen for us when we go through really tough times. We start to mature and we start to understand what we have to do to live, right? Um, I know that, you know, most of us probably haven't been put in a situation like Brian. And so most of us haven't had to come to that kind of realization. But I think most of you could understand you know, you probably have had something in your life where at first you were kind of naive. You didn't really understand. But as you went through a hardship or something that was just really hurtful or hard, you started to grow and mature and understand more of what you needed to do to get through it, right? If you've gone through like a death in your family or just you know, anything really, really difficult, you find that by the end of it, you've grown, you, you understand more because you've gone through something. And that's what Brian has gone through, right? So, um, he begins to grow. He's less naive. Um, he begins to understand through the course of this book that everything eats, right? And so you see him, start to build um, these weapons and like a fish farm and all of this stuff. You see him build these things and be what I would call like innovative, right? He's inventing all of these things for himself um, to survive. And he is becoming um, a completely different person. He's growing. He's changing. So there's questions on those mini essays where it says, you know, how does his, you know, transformation, how does his physical transformation mirror or look similar to his psychological, his mind, right? At the beginning, what is his mental state like? How does he think? 
How does he process through things? What is going on inside of him? And then at the end, what does that look like? How has it changed or grown over the course of the book? Has it? You know, um, I think it does. It does a lot. He changes and he grows a lot over the course of the book because he has to. Really, if you go through something hard, like I just said, you really do change and you know you have to be different to survive and to live and to get through whatever it is. And so Brian has to do that. So when he invents all these weapons and he's hunting and he has this fish farm so that he can eat... You know, it shows us that he is changing. It shows us that he is more comfortable or maybe he's, you know, learning more so he can do more. Because at the beginning, if you remember, he was totally fine eating like the fruit, like the berries off the bushes. But after he was in the wild for a while he really started to crave meat again, you know, fish, um, rabbits, whatever. Um, he really started to crave that stuff. Um, and so also thinking about his rescue. So how he changes over the course of the novel, the things that happen that help him to, um, stay alive and to be rescued you know the the hurricane like the tornado i mean not the hurricane the tornado and the moose how it brought up the plane and helped him to get his emergency pack um and that helped him grow and change a little bit and then um having the receiver and the rescue pack and just everything like how he was rescued from the wilderness right he was he's rescued in that way but This process also helped him be rescued from his bitterness towards his mom, right? Because in the end, does he feel the same way about his mom that he did in the beginning? No, right? He's changed a little bit. He kind of has a more, um, he has more respect for nature and he has, uh, more love and care for his mom than he did at the beginning. He doesn't resent her or or dislike her as much as he did right so I just want you to think through this whole process of this book how everything has changed and Brian changes drastically over the course of you know the the novel um I really want you to work on um these mini essay questions and look back through Think about what Brian went through. What um, does he say? What does he think when you're answering these questions? Okay, and I've posted the questions explained that help you to understand it better. Okay, and if you still have questions, you can ask me. Whatever you need help with, I am more than willing to help you. Okay, so let me know. All right. (laughs)